Hi, in this tutorial I'd like to show you uh, how to use the chart feature on Keynote for iOS. This is a great tool, especially for students in a classroom. Um, to show you how it works, I'm actually going to demonstrate a little activity I did with my students just a couple weeks ago. So here I am, you can see my iPad mini on the screen here, but of course this would be the same on the iPhone or the full-size iPad. Um, and I have Keynote launched, and I'm going to begin by tapping to create a new presentation, and I'm just going to select the white theme. And uh, while I get rid of some of these place markers here, let me just tell you what the activity is. So in Earth Science, which is what I teach, Regents Earth Science in New York State, um, students need to utilize a packet of tables and maps and charts called the Earth Science Reference Tables. And uh, I'm going to add one of the pages of the reference table to this slide right here so you can see it. Here we go. So this chart is called the Average Chemical Composition of Earth's Crust, Hydrosphere, and Troposphere. Now, I don't want this to become a science lesson, but essentially uh, what this chart shows, as you can see, is a list of the elements and their percentage of makeup for the Earth's crust, the solid outer shell of the Earth, the hydrosphere, which is all the liquid water, and the troposphere, which is the lower part of the atmosphere. Now, as it is right now, and as it appears on their reference tables, it's just a list of numbers. And that can sometimes be tricky for students to visualize. And so what we try and incorporate as much as possible is graphing. But it wouldn't be that much better to show this in a line graph or a bar graph. What would actually be best would be a pie chart, because these numbers are showing part of a whole. Now the tricky thing is pie charts can be very difficult to draw, especially difficult to draw accurately. And so this is a great place to incorporate Keynote and use Keynote's graphing tools. And so what I'm going to do, now that the students have their chart in there and they've studied the numbers a little bit, we can add a new slide. I'm going to go ahead and add just a plain title slide. And uh, what we can do in this demo is what we will uh, do the chart for the third column here, which you see over here, which is the troposphere. Troposphere is the air we breathe, and you see it's 21% oxygen, 78% nitrogen, and 1% other. And so that's the pie chart we're going to create right now. So I'm going to title it first, uh, Average Chemical Composition of Earth's, I need an apostrophe there, troposphere. Again, this is just the lower part of the atmosphere. So I have a title, and this is what the students would be doing, of course. Now I need to add my pie chart. So just like you would add any element to Keynote slide, you hit the plus button up in the top right, and you can see your choices. I have media, tables, charts, and shapes. Of course, today we're doing a chart. Now, Keynote gives you an option to do a two-dimensional chart, and here are your choices, or a three-dimensional chart. I think it goes without saying that students are always going to pick the three-dimensional one because it's much more fun. So here's your choice of charts. We've got bar graphs, horizontal and vertical, line graphs, um, and then, of course, your pie chart. And if you swipe from left to right or right to left, you see the different color palettes. Um, Apple has gone ahead and made some nice templates for us to use. One downside is that you can't manually control the colors of the chart. Um, so you're somewhat limited by their templates, but all of them come out great, so it's not that big a deal. I'm going to go ahead and pick this pie chart, and poof, there it is. So now I have a pie chart. I can move it around the screen however I want. I can also resize it using the little corners, just like you would with any element on a keynote slide. Uh, if you notice this icon in the middle with the arrows, if you touch that and twist it a little bit, you can actually change the orientation of the slide, which, as you can imagine, students love doing. But before we get to the fun formatting, we need to change our data. We need to enter the oxygen, nitrogen, and other. So I'm going to tap on my chart, and in my little menu that pops up, I'm going to select Edit Data. And I get the table of values for the chart. So. As we mentioned, the Earth's troposphere is made up of three elements, the first being oxygen, which makes up 21% of the atmosphere, or the lower atmosphere. The second one being nitrogen, which makes up approximately 78%. And then, of course, we have uh, what's listed as other. This includes methane, carbon dioxide, a variety of other gases, and that's about 1%. Now, I've got all the data I need, but I still have these other columns here that I don't need. So I want to get rid of these. And you can do that by just tapping on the title or the, uh, the, the color bar. Let me just get on there. And you can hit delete, and it will delete that row. And I'm going to do that for all of these extra rows until I have what I need.
In addition, I do not need the region tag on here, so I'm just going to select it, hit the backspace button, and delete it. And so there's my data. Very simple. I'm actually going to go ahead. All right, perfect. So now I can hit done, and there is my data in form of a beautiful pie chart. All right, I'm actually going to make it a little bit smaller before we start formatting it and orient it in a nice way. Perfect. Excellent. Now, uh, one of the things the students need to realize is that with a pie chart, it's pretty useless unless I know what the yellow and the green and the blue actually mean. So Keynote has some built-in chart options, which are very helpful. Um, what I can do is I could select the chart and go up here to the paintbrush icon, and you'll see chart options. I'm going to select that. And we have a whole bunch of different things we can do with our chart, okay? including adding a title, or taking it off. We don't need a title because we had made one before, so I'm going to leave that off. What we do need is a legend. Now let me show you the legend. There it is, and they stick it right in the tops right there. Um, but I don't like how close it is. I don't like its placement. So what I can do is, if you see the little green buttons, I can grab one of those and actually pull it to the side, and it will put them into a nice line. In addition, if I tap and hold on that, I can move it wherever I want on the slide. So I'm thinking maybe down here in the bottom corner is a nice place for it. All right, let's turn this around a little bit. All right, and so this is looking good. Let me just move it over. Excellent. Now, there's more options. So I'm going to go back into my paintbrush, back to chart options. Uh, bevels just cause the edges of the segments of the pie chart to be beveled, so you can see some separation. That's a nice little feature, so I'll do that. Text size is obviously obvious. You can change the font. Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and pick a different font, something a little, well, I can stick with Arial or Helvetica, but I want something a little bolder. So I'm going to choose Arial rounded. It's a little bit bolder. Okay. And back to the chart options. Uh, you have the value labels. Those are the percentages. I can put them inside the chart as they are now. I could move them outside the chart like this but I don't think that looks as good, so I'm going to leave them inside. Or you could turn them off altogether. And uh, you can include the names as well, which is nice, but we already have a legend, so it's not really necessary to do both. So I'm going to leave those turned off. Okay, again, into the chart options. Number format. Now, on one of the other graphs I have the students do, they're dealing with decimals, and so they'd actually have to tell Keynote to include decimals up to however many places, and you can do that here you see my numbers are getting more and more decimal places. For this particular graph, it's not necessary, um, but certainly it might be useful for other data. Um, and then one of the students' favorite things is the depth. You can actually increase the depth of the chart. Let me uh, tilt myself a little bit so you can see this. I can make the chart deeper um, to make it kind of stand out a little more. Students like to make it like this, but I think that's a little bit much. Maybe like that looks pretty good. And so there's all my chart options. Now, if I do want to change the way the chart looks, I can change the theme to any of these six at any time. So if I want to go ahead and switch it, I could do that. Um, they have this wooden theme, which is kind of cool, but I think I'm going to stick with the colors for now. Uh, in addition, I could make it two-dimensional, but why do that? Now, the one last thing to show you that's actually really neat, especially when you have a lot of data, is that you can um, what they call explode the wedges which means take each wedge of the pie chart and actually pull it out from the chart a little bit so it's more visible. So what I want to do is I'm going to hold on this blue wedge, which is the oxygen wedge. I'm going to hold it for a second until you see wedge positioning comes up. I'm still holding it. And then I can actually drag it out so that it can be emphasized a little bit. You can leave it out as much as you want. And you can do this, of course, with any of the three wedges. So I'm going to do that with actually all three of them just so it stands out a little bit and you get kind of a nice feature or a nice uh, effect there. That's actually looking pretty good. I'm gonna, I think I exploded them a little too much, so let me pull them back in a little bit. Okay. That looks pretty good right there, actually. Uh, now, final thing is you can animate your charts, and there are some different builds, just like on Keynote for the desktop, there are some different builds that uh, than you would have for normal text being built in. So I'm going to tap on it and select Animate. And I want it to build in, and here are some of my options. Um, and they'll give you a nice little preview. That's a nice one right there. Uh, rotate and Grow is, is a pretty neat one as well. So I'm going to leave it like that and hit Done. And so let me show you my slideshow now. So first I have the data. Here's the data. 
and then when I swipe I get to my uh, title for my chart and I can tap and there is my chart and so now students have a really good way of visualizing this part of the whole um, and they can do it by building this pie chart what I would normally have students do is actually do one for each of these sets of data and uh, submit that using Edmodo or some other tool so that I could check it uh, so that's it that's charts for iOS thanks for watching